All right, testing audio, testing movement. All right, testing audio. Okay, it seems like we're good. Um, hello everyone, this is Gundam Ace, aka John Hooper, and here are my streaming of Rebellions, Secret Games, Second Stage. Last time we left off, um, all, ma um, all 14 players gathered together as one, well, for the most part, Kurokawa and Daisuke are still are tied up, but apart from that, everyone seems to be in with the program. So I wouldn't aim to fulfill their first stage clear conditions, and they ended up fulfilling as many as they could, though they still have like to wait for the final to end the game to fulfill at least the other half of them or so. So, they're just kind of sitting around. Oh yeah, they also um, found enough memory chips needed for Majima and Yui's clear conditions. And, um... Oh yeah, they also got rid of all the weapons on the field. However, um, Haruna and Yuna are worried because it's, um, now it's, the fifth day is about to begin and since the final day, since the game is seven days in total, they suspect that if the, um, managers are going to make a move, it's going to be during this day, so keeping their, um, keeping their eyes out. But yeah, we'll have to see how that goes, so let's begin. And then dawn came. Shuhei Fujita woke up and gathered everyone in the central plaza again. After breakfast, they'd used up all of the um, food supplies they'd found yesterday. Majima had 10 memory chips, while Yui had um, 8 food supplies, but since they needed those for their clear conditions, they couldn't use them. They would already known that food was going to be a problem. So in order to, but in or, so in order to tackle it head on, Shu had gathered everyone again. Alright. Does anyone have any suggestions about the food issue? If they didn't have food for two or three days, they it it would definitely be unpleasant, but they wouldn't die. With the anxiety of not knowing how many days were left until the game ended, um, they needed to come up with a, with a counter strategy as soon as possible. In the worst case scenario, someone could become desperate for food and steal uh, Majima and Yui's memory chips and food supplies. So they wanted to avoid that by all costs. Just then, Mariko raised her hand. If you ask me, I think we should be foraging for food in the woods. I believe that organizer at the briefing said that there was no problems with foraging for food in the woods. Oh, now you mention it, you're right. 
を見かけたことがあるのですだからきっとすぐ食料は手に入るですよ And when we were looking for cubes, I saw, I saw several mushrooms. So I'm sure we'll be able to get our hands on some food. But Hatsune, mushrooms can be dangerous, right? If it's a poison mushroom, we'd be in really big trouble. And, and those, sorry, and amateurs can't tell from a glance. Maybe you're right. Yuna wa, so you know, you're a little bit of a Do you have any you know, knowledge of that kind of stuff, Yuna? Sorry, but nope. All I really know is stuff about fighting and first aid treatment. What about you, Haruna? I'm in the similar boat as you. I see. What about you then, Ray? Does the Makioka style have any sort of survival techniques? No, not at all. Um. Swordsmanship and mushrooms have no connection whatsoever. Besides, my experience is in eating foods. With everything else around them, I have absolutely I know absolutely nothing about them. Oh, I see. Then what about you, Majima and Yui? Sorry, nothing. Oh, hold on a second. I do know some things about fasting, but... It seemed there was no one around who was... who was knowledge, in the, knowledge on the subject. Shuhei shrugged. Which means that mushrooms are risky. There's some medicine left in the in the clinic, but I don't know which of them will work on met on poison. Yes, rebellions of PSA learn about flora, flora and fauna. No, Fujita. There'll be no need to worry about that. You see, I'm actually well versed on the subject. Huh? You are? Well, yes. I make a hobby out of observing vegetables. Sometimes I'll go to the local mountains to go find, um, to go find vegetables there. Really? I can't. I can't picture that at all. I thought you were more the indoors type. Ray. You shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Oh yeah, that's right, Tsukasa. When we were working as library committee members, you were often reading, um... plan encyclopedias, weren't you? Plant encyclopedias? That's a little dark. Please leave me. Please don't. Sorry, please leave me alone. Oops, my bad. 
実に食用と見分けられるキノコも何種類かは知っていますので多分何とかなりますよ At any rate, I can't tell s some types of edible mushrooms by looking at them. So I think I'll be able to manage. Hold on a sec. There shouldn't be many edible wild plants around this time of year. Um. Well, I do expect we find some plants related to nettles. You really do know your stuff. Alright. And teach us what you know about、uh, mushrooms and what ed edible wild plants later. Understood. Please leave it to me. Does anyone else know anything about、um, obtaining food? Come to think of it, there's a river nearby here, so maybe we can fish? If we find some fishing rod, um, I'm sure we'll be able to find some fishing rods around here. And, catch, and capturing birds around here with our bare hands. Yeah, that wouldn't work. That'd be impossible. Yeah, and we have no guns or crossbows. Yes. Alright. And for now, our menu is looking like mushrooms, edible plants, and fish from the river. Alright then. Shall we, guys? Everyone nodded. First of all, Shuhei and the others、um, received lecture about、um, edible、uh, mushrooms and plants from Skasa. But since it was difficult to tell what a mushroom was like without seeing it for himself, they decided to have Skasa pick them out after they gathered them all. Skasa, the three teams were responsible for foraging for mushrooms and edible plants.、Um, Skasa and Ray, Yuna and Yui, and Majima and Mariko. Mitsu and Hatsune were in charge of catching fish. Everyone else went off to their own areas. Shuhei, ha, Shuhei, Haruna, Shuhei and Haruna are teamed together, as well as Kodomi and Hitomi. Their job was to go find any other,、uh, any other edible food they could find. In other words, they were the search and destroy team. They, didn't they, might, they might have very well found all the cubes because、um, they went through all the areas and they used Yui's special function, so there's a good chance they found all the cubes already. Still, what else can we eat? Got any ideas? Harun answered.
I don't know if it's edible or not, but I did, we did find a wheat field before. Wheat field, huh? Yeah, let's go check that out. The group nodded and, the f and all headed off. Shuhei whispered to Kodami when he saw when he looked at um he told me timidly walking forward. Hey Kotomi, are you sure it's okay to bring Hitomi along? I'm a bit worried too. But she, but she wants to help us look for food. Besides, she also needs to move um, to a different area once every 12 hours anyway. Besides... Oh, sorry. It was, um... Okay, never mind, never mind. Sorry. Besides... I thought it'd be best for um, to show Hitomi some of the outside. I see. Well, you have a point. <laughs> Still, Kotomi, I've got to say, it really is like you're Hitomi's mom. Huh? You think I'm old? That's not true. You're a kind soul, so it fits you very well, I'd say. Thanks. Call me ba blushed bashfully. Just then, he told me hid behind called me. She really had changed. He told me that is. It was hard to believe that just two days ago she was the most terrifying player, wielding a chainsaw. Also seems like she's completely forgotten about her affection to me as her so-called master. I think that's for the best. He told me he's finally returning to her, returning to her true self. At least that's what I believe. All while she makes her way back through those hap for the happy memories she has. A sad look was on Kotomi's face. Um, Shuhei himself likely had a similar look. Oops, sorry, one sec. It was very pitiful, but if that's what, if that's what Hitomi wanted, all I could do was watch over her. It was with that thought that um, Shuhei glanced at Hitomi, and just then Hitomi also um, stared at him. What is it? Um. You get along well with mom, don't you, Shu? He told me called Shu, hey, Shu. Realizing she was probably imitating Kodomi, Shu, hey, answered. Yeah, we, we get along pretty good. Then, would that make you my dad? Huh? Dad? Well, I mean, it's because a dad's the person who gets along well with your mom, right? Shuhei and Kodomi looked at each other. 
It was childish logic. Um. But in, in her world, perhaps that ha that was perhaps it was only obvious. Ah, uh, so you could only not do. Uh, yeah, I guess you could say that. Tommy smiled. Dad, so you're my dad, huh? Hey, Mom, is Dad a nice guy? Yeah, he is. He won't hit me? He won't. Quite the opposite. He'll do anything you say. Yay! Then hold my hand, Dad! Alright. You can count on me. Shuhei took Hitomi's hand. Well, Kodomi took her other hand. To be perfectly honest, Shuhei was completely baffled by this turn of events. But, um, all I could do was go along with it, with how she was for now. Haruna watched from a short distance away with exasperation. You look like you're having fun, Shuhei. Ah, yeah, it's a great joy. Ever since I started this game, I've reunited my sister and goddaughter, so I've been really busy. Sister? You mean yours, Dan? Yeah, that's right. So in other words, that would make her your that would make her your aunt. Aunt. I don't know if I'd like being called that. And she'll just call you Haruna. By the way, Hitomi, Haruna's also nice. He's right. She's the one who... who treated your dad's wounds. By doing this, the, three, um, the two of them were trying to give... Um, um, he told me the idea that she was surrounded by nothing but good, nice people, but... He told me furled her eyebrows when she saw... when she saw Haruna. You're lying. Huh? She's a bad person. And kinda scary. Tommy said that and hid behind Shuhei and Kodomi. Arna was dumbfounded by that reaction. I'm a bad person? Oh, don't worry about it, Haruna. She probably faintly remembers you shooting at us with the arrow, shooting us with the arrows. But you were just following the rules, right? There was nothing else you could do, so we're not barred by it. I see, but I'm sorry. In any case, it doesn't look like I'm a. 
Doesn't look like she's very happy with me around. I'll do my best not to get in the way as much as possible. Shuhei couldn't say anything to the depressed look on Haruna's face. Before long, Haruna looked away and and stared straight ahead. Oh, I see it. That's the weak field. Shuhei and the others looked forward as well. And where they saw wheat as far as the eye could see. This, huh? Can we eat it? I mean, it's growing and everything, so it looks edible to me. Sorry, I mistranslate that. I mean, um, like it's it's blossoming, so it should be edible. I don't really know too much about it. Hold on a second. Alright. Alright, I'm ready now. Um, I don't know much about it, but if I remember right, after we let it dry, um, we should be able to use a, a millstone or something to grind it down into wheat. A millstone, huh? Come to think of it, there was that there was that cabin we were using as our base around here. Maybe there's a millstone in there. I see. Let's go check. Shuhei and the others nodded. The cabin was not too far from the wheat field. They didn't really know, pay attention to it up until now, but there were a lot of farming tools inside it. Once they got in, Kalumi saw something in the corner of the hut. I found the millstone! Oh. To make news not to make wheat flour? It'll take some time, but I think we can do it. It'll probably be too difficult to do today, but we might be able to make udon and... Sorry, we might be able to make udon and hard tacks with these. Great. And this solves the food problem for the most part. I like udon too. I want to eat some. Shuhei and Kalumi smiled when they saw Tomi rejoicing. In all honesty, Shuhei thought himself to be cold blooded. But it seems seeing Tommy's childlike innocence um, genuinely warms his heart. Even if she was an adult on the outside. Even the normally stone faced Harna smiled slightly. Now I'll leave the wheat to you guys. Um, I'll give it a try to make sure it's edible or not. I'll 
I'll go look for some seasonings. Hmm? By yourself? Manual labor is essentially a three-person job, so it's just the best way to split it up. I see. I'm counting on you to take care of that, Haruna. Haruna nodded and left the cabin. Harna left the farming shed by herself and returned to the village. She kept it hidden in front of Shuhei and the others, but she was quite feeling quite depressed. What Hitomi had t said to her was still bothering her. A bad person, huh? I guess you can't fool a child's eyes. Or perhaps a veteran player such as Hitomi had seen right through her. Whatever the case, uh, what Hitomi had said had struck Harner right to the core. Harner had been eight games up until now. Excluding the first one, she participated in all of them as repeaters by her own volition. It was for money. Not for revenge or to save other players, but purely for profit. Of course, there was the fact that she did indeed need a large amount of money to help her family. But the fact remained that Harun had, had stained her hand in so much blood. Her right hand was stained red with blood, while her left hand was stained black in sin. Tomi had probably expounded that sinister nature of hers. And by having someone else point it out to her, um, that fact warmed its way deep was starting to warm its warm its way deeper and deeper in the heart in his heart. I finally managed to reunite with my big brother, but Definitely be sad to know his, how his sister had turned out. If she were a shadow, then Shuhei was the light. She had no idea what kind of life he'd lived after they were separated. The kindness he showed Kotomi, the consideration he showed Hitomi, and the way he rallied everyone else was a far cry from Haruna.
Harun just Harun just trotted it off as she felt an as she felt a um a gap that can never be filled. No. This is no time to be getting down. I just need to take care of what I can right now. Harmless said that, then went to look for our seasonings. Meanwhile, Skasa Mitsubayashi was looking for mushrooms in the woods. And then Ray, who'd been stone faced ever since she'd been partner of um the whole time she was with um Skasa for some reason, picked a mushroom off the ground and she took it to Skasa. What about this, Skasa? Hmm? The, the mushroom she showed him had a red cap and white dots. A very deadly looking mushroom indeed. That's a crimson mushroom. It's a staple of poison mushroom. I see. Ray then chucked the the mushroom far off into the distance. There seemed to be a bit of venom in that action. Scott's a sigh when he saw that, and sighed to ask what bothering him since two days ago. Listen, Ray. What is it? Have you been irritated this whole time? It seems to particularly show up when you're with me. Perhaps. Funny. That doesn't sound like you that doesn't sound like something you'd say. Your the type is more upfront of what she's feeling, no? <laughs> I guess I should expect nothing less of you, Skasa. You see through everything, huh? Are you hold, still holding a grudge against me for throwing away the sword? That's part of it. So there's more besides that then. That's right. Why don't you use that analytical brain you're so proud of? To see if you can figure out the answer for yourself. Scott's also shut his mouth with that Ray snide remark. But no matter how hard he thought, he couldn't think of why she was angry. What's wrong? You don't understand? Could you not try to pick a fight with me? My analytical abilities extend to figuring out what kind of person someone is and which and which ways their uh, thoughts tend to fluctuate. 
そしてレイみたいなタイプの人間には今まで一度も会ったことがなかっただから分析しようにもデータがないんだよ And I've never met someone like you before So no matter how hard I try to analyze you I have no data on the matter I see. That makes sense then. Meaning? What's been bugging me all this time is how you've never apologized for getting in the way of me and Yuna's fight. Apologize? I think the actions I took were very reasonable, all things said. Besides, if I hadn't stopped you, he might have killed Todo. I had to prevent a murder from taking place, so I prioritized. Please stop talking about nothing but rules all the time. All you ever talk about is the logic of things. You never, never even once sincere the emotions of things. I may have made peace with Yuna back then. Um, getting revenge on Akira was everything to me. I decided to participate in this game because I was willing to. Um, I was willing to accomplish that objective even if it cost me my life. That's why I wanted to find the answer in that duel, just just between me and Yuna. So in other words, all you have to do is apologize for then. Ray's eyes narrowed when he said that. She grabbed his arm a second. She thought she, a se um, he thought Ray was gonna grab his arm a second later. What's gotten into you, Ray? After Scusa got up the ground, he suddenly cut himself short. There were tears in Ray's eyes. An apology isn't enough! What you need to do is reflect on your actions! Now that I know how she feels, I can't bring myself to hate her anymore. It's all your fault I can't devote myself to my revenge anymore. That's why you should apologize to me. You should say you're sorry sincerely from the bottom of your heart. No, but that's... Alright, sorry about that, Bat. You're just venting on me, aren't you? But Skasa didn't say that. Skasa couldn't grasp those emotions. They were too fickle. 
um, had no consistency and were, and were not logical at all. That's why Scasa wasn't good with people who were driven by their emotions. But Ray was different. Oops, sorry. One second. Alright, sorry, here we can go. Ray probably also had feelings you couldn't sort out. Feelings of frustration and bitterness. And she'd vented out and she revealed them in the way that Skasa could understand clearly. Um Ray? What? Well, um, I'm sorry. Huh? I'm sorry for what I did back then. Though I know it was the right thing to do. I'm sorry for throwing your sword, sword away yesterday. I mean, a sword is special to you, isn't it? Is this good enough? For Skasa, who never sincerely apologized to anyone before, this was, a, this was all a brand new experience. After a brief silence, Ray wiped her tears and gave a beaming smile. Just as long as you get it. If you've truly reflected on your actions, let's, leave, let's, let's make it all water under the bridge. You really are simple, aren't you? So the first thing you do right after I forgive you is make fun of me? No. I was complimenting you, actually. How was that complimenting me? How indeed. He's got so smirked when he said that. Sorry, one sec. A sense of relief at finally having met someone who didn't have to act reserved around ooze in Skasa's heart. By the way, Ray. Huh? Um... Can I ask you about your brother? What's gone into you? You didn't seem interested in it at all. I find a bit of curiosity sparked within me. I'd, so, I'd like to know who this per who, I'd like to know who this brother of yours that you'd be willing to give up your life to avenge it, it was like. That was the only way he could put it, but that was how he honestly felt. I 
Frescasa. This was the first time he'd taken interest not in someone else's abilities, but rather of a genuine sorry, this is the first time Scus had shown um, curiosity not in someone else's abilities, but in their mentality and what they were like as a person. Ray spoke gently as though she'd picked up on that. Hmm. Where to begin? And she began talking about her, and so she began talking about her deceased brother. Scasa quietly listened to her. By the time everyone finished gathering food and Skasa Oops sorry. Skasa had finished checking the picking out the mushrooms, the sun was already beginning to set. Everyone who participated in gathering food gathered in the central plaza around the makeshift instant stove as they grilled the fish and, and prepared the and waited for the mushroom soup to be finished. The ones in charge of cooking were Skasa, who had experience with picking mushrooms and edible plants and Kotomi, who was an expert in cooking. Shuhei Fujia then looked, um, smiled at, um, Hitomi, who was right behind Kotomi, and spoke. Hitomi, over here. Don't get in your mom's way. Okay. Tell me not of a smile and ran over to Shuhei. She was already she'd already gotten used to being in place with a lot of people by now. Just then, Mariko and Hatsune gave um, Shuhei surprise looks. <laughs> I heard about what happened, but I have to admit, this is pretty unexpected. Yeah, I feel the same way. Yeah, she's totally different from Hitomi as before. No, Majima. We're talking about Fujita here. Yep. Hmm? What do you mean? Well, I mean, before, you were still as cool headed as always, but felt like there was a bit of a wall between. You put up a bit of a wall between us. She's right. I was a little scared of you, but you don't feel that way anymore. You think so? Well, maybe you're right. Shuhei said that, then gently patted Hitomi's head. 
is also probably thanks to Yuna. Shuhei thought that and looked in Yuna's way to discover that she was looking at him as well. I'm oh, sorry, that, um... She she knows his his gaze, sorry. What is this, Shuhei? What are you staring at my face for? Uh, oh, nothing. Really? You're a weirdo. Shuhei smiled at Yuna. Just then, um... Hitomi grabbed his arm tight. Ow! What's going into you, Hitomi? Dad, no cheating! Cheating? No way! I thought you were all about Kotomi, but it was Yuna? Huh? What's this? Do you have a thing for me, Shuhei? What a scandal this is! Not that I'm not happy not that I'm not happy to hear that, but I've already got someone. <sighs> I swear. When they saw Shuhei giving up on talking back. Um, Yuna, Mariko, and Hatsune smiled. Meanwhile, um, Tsukasa and Rei completely ignored them as, um, Rei asked Tsukasa a question. Tsukasa, you can't do it yet? Rei, this is the fifth time you've asked that. I'm hungry! Who, who do you think you are treating people like they're gluttons? Yes, yes. We're all hungry here, you know that? I swear, Ray. You may be honest, but it's like you... But it's like you have no self-awareness at all. Oh shoot, will you try it out? Hmm, I think it'd be better with a little more salt. Okay, got it. In all honesty, the best way to detoxify mushrooms is with, um, miso and sake. Sorry, I found those, but none of them worked out. Oh, I wasn't blaming you or anything. It was just an observation. See? He hurts our people without even without even noticing. This is why Skasa is such a pain. Ray, you're not getting any mushroom soup if you say that. That's not fair! You coward! Everyone laughed at their at the comical state of affairs. All done! Yeah, the mushrooms and vegetables, uh, sorry, plants everyone picked, as well as salted fried 
um, fish that Hatsune and Mitsuru got, uh, Shirosaki got for us. Wow! Yeah, this is, this is pretty good for this. Tsukasa, I'm calling a temporary ceasefire with you. Yeah, yeah. I must say, that's quite the sweet fish. And the show are a lot of them. That's right! Mitsuru is a fishing master! No, I just got lucky, that's all. Besides, you caught two yourself, Hatsune. You're right. I hate how slimy they are. I did my best for everyone. Shuhei been a bit um anxious about teaming up the mentally um slightly mentally unstable Hatsune and the physically weak looking Mitsuru. But seemed they compensated for everyone for, for their respective strengths and made for a good team and had formed a good relationship. Just when Shuhei thought that about them. Yui, who hadn't participated in much of the conversation up until now, took took her mush soup and sweet fish and stood up. What is it, Yui? I'm gonna bring these to Kurokawa. Hey, wait! Yuna frankly called out to her, but um, Yui just dashed off deeper into the into the village. I was going to tell her to bring Daisuke's food while she was at it, but, well, we can just leave that guy for later. But why is it that Yui is so concerned over Kurokawa? Yeah, I was wondering that myself. I swear. I didn't take I didn't think you guys would be so thick headed. Huh? What do you mean by that? I talked a lot with Yui while we were picking mushrooms today. A gleam formed in Yuna's eye. She doesn't realize it herself, but she's fallen for Kurokawa. What? Is that true, Yuna? Oh, I'm sure of it. And even though I didn't ask about him, she wouldn't talk about anything but Kurokawa. Now that you mention it, ever since we locked Kurokawa up, Yui's been worried about him all that time. Yeah, Well, he did save her. I know she got the totally wrong idea about him. It's true that she that she did took a like that she's taken a liking to him. 
違いから始まる恋か。Love that begins from a misunderstanding, huh? c o l l me thought for a bit before speaking again. ねえ、しゅうちゃん、黒川さんを解放してあげることってできないかな Hey, s h u could we possibly let Kurokawa go? Huh? Well, that's. Dame, you got me, sir! Majima Kun, I didn't get any assure, done it on you! You know that the Fuji is the only. We can't call him me! This is the guy who shot Majima's leg out of the blue! Even now, Majima still can't move perfectly. Mina, do. What do you guys think? Wait, Shuhei. その前にどうしてマジマが黒川に恨まれているのかその理由を聞きたいわ。Hold on, Shuhei. First, I'd like to ask what I'd like to know why um Kurokawa is such a grudge against Majima. そうじゃなきゃ問題の解決にならないでしょ。Yeah, she might have realized that. Because、uh, if we don't know, then we'll never be able to solve the problem, right? True. Majima, Majima, would you mind talking about it?、Uh, yeah, sure. Kuro,、uh, sorry, Majima sighed and then began talking. I'd forgotten about this for the longest time. But once I saw Kurokawa in the city selling something shady. What shady? What do you mean? Sorry, back now. Probably something illegal. Oops, sorry. Oops. Well, I think I can more or less imagine what it is. And then what happened? Sorry, I'm gonna go back and finish this. Probably something illegal. He tried to hoodwink me into selling some of it to me. And then, once I refused, he picked a fight with me. He suddenly punched me, punched at me in front of a lot of people. And then you end up beating the crap out of Kurokawa instead? Yeah. It seems he still holds a grudge against me for that. I see. And I guess there's no wonder he has a grudge on you, against you. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? From what I've heard, it was all Kurokawa's fault. Well, yeah, for good or for ill, Kurokawa was the one who tried to sell something shady. And picked a fight once he got turned down. But the problem is Majima's attitude. 
You s you said you forgot Kurokawa, right? Uh, uh. Yeah. I pretty pissed off myself. You beat me up in front of a bunch of people and then went to forget the whole thing. That's right. It does hurt to be forgotten. それに黒川君は他人から舐められることに対して敏感な人だから余計にねクロカオ seems particularly sensitive to other people looking down on him. 待ってやっぱり変よどうして真島君が責められなきゃならないの? Wait, hold on. This doesn't make any sense. Why does Majima have to take the blame for this? マリコさん、別にみんなは真島を責めてるわけじゃない。Mariko, we're not really bl we're not blaming Majima or anything. We're just talking about the cause of it, this, that's all. But I see your head as hard as ever, Ueno. Whoa now, Skasa. My apologies, Fujita. But can we leave the- Can we leave the apologize But can we just leave the topic of Kurokawa at that for now? There's a certain someone here looks like they're about to throw off Rampage. Got said and looked at someone. Over there was Ray, not participating, just staring longingly at the mushroom soup and salted sweet fish. What? Uh, I wasn't thinking about going off on my own eat all by myself, not at all. So you were, weren't you? You're wrong! You're almost certainly wrong! Just then, Tomi, who was next to Shuhei, spoke up in a pained voice. Mom, Dan, I'm hungry. Oh, sorry. Then why don't we just leave the, the conversation that for now and eat? You're right. I'm sorry, guys. It's my fault for coming up with such a weird idea. Yeah, yeah. So, Ray, go no worries. Now then, Ray. Your orders? <laughs> Alright, everyone, then let's eat all- <laughs> Could you at least wait to finish before you eat? Then we should eat ourselves before it gets cold. Hi. Okay. Tell me not enthusiastically, and lured in by that, everyone gra started grabbing for the food. Shuhei drank some of the mushroom soup, and though the only seasoning was salt, it didn't taste all that bad. There was enough um, salted sweet fish for um, one person each, but they were all. There were no, no one complained about them whatsoever. Everyone began smiling as they continued eating. But Shuhei didn't miss the shadow that fell over Mariko and Majima's faces. 
And then after dinner. Marco Ueno um, supported Majima by his shoulder as they walked back to the to the abandoned hut they band, um, house they were staying in. Hard head, huh? I got told that again. My classmates used to say that, tell me that all the time. And that I was too hard headed. That I was inflexible. Even times where I lost friends because of that. I haven't made any progress at all, have I? Well, I'm not too different myself. You're the same? Yeah, I'm the same as you in that I don't... and I have trouble seeing the world around me. Once I've made up my mind about something, I don't listen to anyone else has to say about it and act. My older sister used to scold me all the time for that. Oh? You have an older sister? That was the first time he told Mariko about that. But Majima shook his head. I used to have an older sister. I, sorry, I used to have a sister a year older than me. But she's gone now. She died in a traffic accident last year. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you don't have to worry about it. I'm talking about this because I want to. Majima gave a faint smile. He unlocked off into the distance as he continued. I first got into boxing. The reason I got into boxing to begin with was also because I wanted to protect my sister from bullies. Huh? Your sister was bullied? Yeah. We were rather poor. We didn't exactly have the most charmed of childhoods. I can barely even remember us getting any clothes. That's probably why. It was because of that, ignore, sorry, ignoring a coward like me, my sister wasn't the kind of person who would be bullied by others, but because of that, because of how, uh, well, how badly off we were, they used to make, our classmates used to make fun of us. A shadow cast itself over Majima's face. A bitter expression clouded his face, unlike usual. I was so frustrated. It'd be one thing if I were being bullied, but I couldn't stand my sister being made fun of. It 
once I got into middle school, I started boxing. And then I used my trained fist to threaten those who were bullying my sister, and sometimes even punch them. Before I knew it, people stopped bullying us altogether. Was your sister happy? No. She had rather mixed feelings about it. My sister told me that uh, what comes around go um, goes around. So I shouldn't go around blindly hurting people. Back then, I didn't really understand it. But she was probably right. Because I went around recklessly, um, blindly, um, wheel, um, sorry, because I went around blindly, um, showing off my strength, Kurokawa got, his gr um, formed that grudge against me. But, I still don't think you were in the wrong. No, I was wrong. Hey, Mariko. I like those correct rules that you believe in. I don't think those rules are wrong. But everyone probably has their own different set of rules. There are many set of rules out there as there are people. When you have 14 people, you have 14 different sets of rules. And Fuji and Yuna probably understand that very well. That's why I think they're able, to, they're able to mediate with everyone so well. But I went and spat on the rule that Kurokawa didn't want broken the most. All while I didn't notice at all. Majima's eyes fell down on his fist. Oh, as if he were regretting his past actions. But that makes things difficult then, doesn't it? In that case, um... Um... What are those correct rules I believe in even there for? I don't know that either. But there's probably no meaning in denying your own rules. If they're wrong, then you just rewrite them yourself. And so what matters most is that you, um, understand that other people have different rules. Probably changed a lot just from realizing that. You won't make as many big mistakes as I did.
Majin probably had a lot on his mind, um, ever since he'd been shot in the leg and couldn't move. And so he was telling her what he realized during that time. Hey, Majima? What is it? What are you gonna do when this game ends? What am I gonna do? I didn't really think about that. Majima felt quiet for a bit. And smiled faintly. Well, maybe I'll start boxing again. I haven't gone to the gym ever since my sister passed. Thanks to the boxing, I've, I've survived this long thanks to the boxing skills I learned. I have a feeling I can become stronger than I was before. I see. Then once you become a pro boxer, I'll come and see your matches. Hmm? You don't want me to? No, by all means, come. Really? Yeah. In that case, um, I'll give this to you while I have the chance. When he said that, Majima took something out from around his neck and presented it to Mariko. Is this... a pendant? It's my charm. You should take it and come to see my matches and, um... Um... So it's my charm. You should take that. And come cheer for me in my matches. Well... I get that, but... Isn't a charm totally pointless if the person... the person it's for doesn't have it? It may be a charm, but I can't wear that. On, but I can't wear that during an actual match, or I'll be disqualified. Oh, I see. But are you sure it's okay for me to have this? Yeah. Mariko smiled and looked at, it, not having expected to get a present like this from Majima. She knows there's a name carved into the pendant. Majima, is this? Yeah, it's my sister's name. My sister gave it to me as a present a long time ago. And I'm a replacement for your sister? No, that's not true. You and my sister are two completely different people. Really? Of course. Anyway, take it, please. Mariko chuckled when she saw... Um, Majima say that's slightly upset. 
She was happy she got to see a, a side of Ma Majima she hadn't known about. Alright, Majima. I'll definitely come and cheer you on. Thanks. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. Mariko, um, gave a smile of her own when she saw Majima's kind smile. The depression that had been taking a hold of her was now was now being filled up with warm emotions. And after Mariko and Majima left, two people showed up where they were. Shuhei Fujin and Yuna had been watching Mariko and Majima from the shadows. I went to check because because I was worried about them. But it seems like they'll be fine. Yeah, I was worried I went too far back during dinner, but I'm glad I'm glad she seemed they seemed to get understand. Maybe there won't be any problems if all that main problems if we let Kurokawa go now. Of course, we'll still need to keep an eye on him though. And while we're at it, maybe we should let Daisuke go as well? He seems to have cooled off. He's probably cooled off a bit. Yeah, but you know, Shuhei, you turn out to be a real busybody, you know that? Honestly, it's not like for you to show this much consideration for people. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's probably thanks to a certain someone's influence. <laughs> See, this is exactly why Tomi accused you of cheating. Oh, Kotomi will understand. Oh, I see. I swear. It's love everywhere I look now. And I guess I'll go check up on Yui now. Um, it seems Krokawa refused food again today. Right after everyone was uh, just about finished dinner, Yui had come back to them in low spirits. She's probably holed up in her in her house, um lying on the floor of a depressed face. Yeah, I'll leave her to you. Okay. Got it. Yunan head deeper into the village. But she suddenly stopped, turned around and spoke in a low voice. Hey Shuhei, you think the game will just end like this? Why, are you nervous about something? No, not at all. That's exactly why I'm worried. It's too peaceful. It'll be fine. No matter what happens from now on, we'll be able to deal with it the way we are now. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. 
All right, then I'll be going. Yuna walked off again, and Shuhei called out to her. What? Feel free to talk about me if anything's on your mind. Um, I'll be doing the same. Okay, got it. You know, said to have a smile and then left for real this time. The anxiety she had was was almost certainly the same as the kind of um, anxiety that Shuhei also had. That things were going far too, worrying that things were going far too good. But no one handed them this piece on the silver platter. It was a vict. It should have been a victory they'd achieved while acting after a hard battle and the rules they've been faced with. So no one could, um... could sully this result. Even if it was an outcome the organizers didn't wish for. Shuhei walked through the dark village with that determination. And time passed. And the game and the game's fifth day ended without incident. Day six. And once midnight came, the sixth day of the game finally arrived. However, the PDAs showed no changes. The notice that there were only 24 hours left in the game did not arrive. Why? Isn't the game supposed to end on the 6th day? Harmless stare at the si- At the silent p- uh, Sorry, at the um- Silent PDA of disbelief. This game had always ended on the sixth day. You know that never changed up until now. Things were different this time, and this time alone. Has something happened on the org on the, on the organi organizer's end? Hard to consider that possibility. But then Haruna remembered something. To be more specific, what she remembered was one of the, um... the rules that all the players have been sent on the first day. Each player is given their own PDA. They must have filled a clear condition written on their PDA by the end of the game. The end of the game will be announced on a later date. The end of the game will be announced on a later date. That's right. The only thing the rules said about the game's final day was that it would be announced at a later date. There was nothing at all that said specifically that it would end on the sixth day. Harna had merely assumed that from her experience up until now. No way! Then... Everything Big Bro's trying to do up... Big Bro's trying to do now is... It's 
it's all meaningless? Was the peace they preserved up until this until today? Um Nothing more than a prank on their end to extend the game. Um, sorry, one sec. Harness suddenly got dizzy. She couldn't even feel the ground she was standing on. Is that that? It was then that the other repeat there, Yuna, noticed her changing complexion. What's going on here? Isn't the game supposed to end on the sixth day? I don't get it. I don't know what's happening here either. Yuna's face froze. But even Haruna, who was now on her ninth game, couldn't even couldn't explain what was going on. Anyway, let's go to Shuhei. Huh? I promised Shuhei I would talk to him if anything happened. You know, then head for the clinic where Shuhei and the others were sleeping. Totally lost and confused, all Harna could do was follow her. At this rate, this game might never end. The moment Yuna um, stopped by his place in the middle of the night and told him that, Shuhei Fuchida immediately understood the urgency she was, um, she was hinting at. If a repeater like Yuna had come to that conclusion, this was a problem that could by no means be ignored. Shuhei immediately headed for, to the central control facility with Yuna and Haruna, who had been listening to their conversation nearby, in order to confirm the organizer's intent, intentions. Shuhei arrived at the central control facility with Haruna and Yuna in tow. The sign in the lobby that indicated where the briefing was to be held was still there. Almost as if it had been left up as a sick joke by someone sneering at them. Damn it! Shuhei, calm down. Yeah, she's right. We don't know if we're until we talk with the um talk to the administrator, we don't know if our guess is right or not. Something might have happened on the administrator's side. Yeah, I get it. Shuhei nodded and took a breath to calm himself down. Then they went up the stairs. And open the door at the end of uh, at the end of the uh, dead end on the right side. The 
They were grieved the sight of the of the conference room, filled with a artificial atmosphere. As soon as Shuhei arrived, um, the speaker on the ceiling near the ceiling called out to him. No, he called out to him. Can you hear me, Administrator? Answer me. There's only one to check regarding the game's um, the details of the game. And then, as if he'd been waiting for him. Yes, what is it? That was the middle of the night. That voice that came out of the speaker was as composed as ever. In other words, that meant there was no way something had happened on the administrator's end. Shuhei gritted his teeth when he realized that. But even so, calmly called out to the administrator. If I remember right, you said the game's end time would be announced 24 hours ahead of time, correct? Yes, what of it? Then why we get no notification at midnight today? Shouldn't the game always be, um, six days long? There was a there was a momentary pause on the other end of the speaker. The administrator is most likely smirking. She had glared at the speaker and was greeted with a jeering voice. <laughs> No. I explained this on the first day as well. Um. Um. But the players are not told, um, when the game ends. Sorry, not told the story about the, when the game ends. But... If you're sure if you're so sure about this, then that would mean a certain player has committed a, a major rule infraction. <laughs> no? <laughs> it was true. Just as the administrator said, it wasn't like Shuhei had directly heard that from Yuna. He had merely guessed that the game was only six days long from, um, judging from Yuna's actions. Then can I change the question? By all means. It is possible for all the players to survive, yes? I'll leave that to your magic- no. You have a you should have a obligation to answer this question. What are you getting at? Because Hatsune's clear condition calls for all players to survive. If that's impossible, there's a discrepancy and the, there's a contradiction in the rules. I see. Then perhaps there really is a contradiction. Huh? What? I already told this to everyone who participated in the briefing. 
but speculation is part of this game. To interpret hidden rules and to get uh, and to get the jump on other players utilizing that knowledge. This is no mere game. But a killing game all about acting on those sorts of on speculations. <laughs> what? So in other words, it's impossible for everyone to survive? You're saying this game will never end until someone pulls the trigger to change everyone's clear conditions, yeah? I'll leave it up to your imagination. You son of a- Shuhei, yelling won't solve anything. This was planned from the beginning. So nothing you say will get through them. No, that's not necessarily true. Huh? Arno sounded surprised when she heard that rare display of humanity from the otherwise dispassionate um, administrator. Then the man the administrator continued speaking the way he always had. It's true that there is insurance in the rules, but we didn't. But we didn't expect a situ. Well, we don't expect situations like this to occur. The current situation is a so-called extra game that you have created yourselves. So we have our own expectations for it. Even if you're bound hand and foot by the rules, we want to see you make the impossible possible. What do you think? Doesn't that sound like the best kind of entertainment there is? You guys are sick fucks, you know that? I take it you have no intention of lighting up on those strict rules? Why would we? If we did that, then the entertainment the factor would be... Would be, put, would be greatly damaged, wouldn't it? Fine, Administrator. You just sit there and watch us. We'll decide how this game goes. Yes, we wish you the best of luck.
The group turned away from that jeering voice and left the conference room. Sheesh. These guys really do piss me off. Once this game is over, I'm going to beat the crap out of them. But, what exactly are we supposed to do now? Well, um... Yuna sent y Shuhei a troubled glance. Shuhei answered after thinking for a bit. The administrator's objective is to make us kill each other. For now, we just have to give, we just have to avoid that. So we have to keep doing as we have up until now and make sure that first murder never happens to trigger any of that. I don't think there'll be any problems after the time being. Everyone seems pretty united. But that's only because they're relaxed and the game only lasts a few more days. Once that premise falls apart, we all know what's going to happen, right? Which means it sounds like it'd be best just to keep this between the three of us. Right. Once everyone wakes up, let's suggest that we cut down the wheat. Huh? Why? Because the more everyone works together, the greater the sense of unity, right? And besides, having an immediate objective will stop them from thinking, will, will keep their mind off of things. Exactly. What's more, as long as we don't know how long the situation will last, um, we, need to get we, sh we should get a head start on solving the food problem. And while we're at it, we'll find a way to escape from this place. A way to escape from this place. He hadn't really thought about it much until now. This was the first time Shuhei said it clearly. Yuna's face hardened at those words. A way to escape. If we could find one, that'd be nice, but... But even if we do that, won't the, won't the administrators find out? There's security cameras all over the field, and there's likely listening devices set up as well. So if we try to find the... So if we try to find the escape, a way to escape in spite of that, the administrators just might just get in the way. That doesn't matter. If we don't If we don't do it, we'll be forced to kill each other. I don't want that at all. So we have to find it. There was a brief silence following that shout of determination. But before long, Yuna made up her mind spoke. Okay. 
All right, guys. Are you okay? You're okay with that too, aren't you, Haruna? To be honest, I was a bit suspicious of you. But I'm gonna stop that now. So you... Yes, I get it. Harmon the then looked at um Shuhei. Hey Shuhei. You trust me too, don't you, Shuhei? What are you talking about? Of course I do. You're my only sister, aren't you? Yeah. And I won't betray you. I won't betray you, big brother. Big brother. It was the first time he um Shuei heard him heard him call her that. Um in ten years. Once this game was over, he wanted to hear from Harn that what had happened in those ten years. That was yet another reason for Shuhei to survive, for everyone to survive this game with everyone. And then when the sun rose on the sixth, for the sixth time. Shuhei proposed they cut down the wheat. Um, they reaped the wheat. After the twelve after the twelve of them had gathered again and eaten the mushroom soup from yesterday. They told they talked about the wheat yesterday, so they um quickly got everyone's approval. But just when it seemed like they were wrapping up, Mariko called out to everyone. Hey guys, before we go out reaping the wheat, there's one more thing I want to talk about. What's that, Mariko? Yesterday, me and Majima had a little talk. Sorosoro Kurokara Kun will Kai Hosta get him in Janaka to Mono. And we think it may be okay to finally let Kurokawa go. Huh? Are you serious? Are you serious, Mariko? But you were always against it. Well, like you said earlier, there aren't any more dangerous weapons here. And thanks to all of you, um, I come to understand a bit about what the problem between Majima and Kurokawa is. Yeah. I plan to treat Kurokawa better starting now. Well, that's nice and all, but... Yuna shot um, Shuhei a troubled glance. Shuhei and... She and Shuhei had also considered um, letting Kurokawa go last night, but... But the situation was different than it was back then. What do you all think about Mariko's idea, guys? I'm all for it, of course. Yeah, me too. 
瞳はねよくわかんない Um, I don't really get it. I'm for it too. I'm down with what you, whatever Yui says. I, I guess I'm for it so long as someone keeps an eye on Kurokawa. でもまあみんなが賛成すると言うならそこまで強く言うつもりはありません I'm still opposed to it Well if you're all for it then I don't plan on fighting it 前にも言ったように私は構いませんよあんな筋肉しか取り柄のなさそうな男に負ける気はしませんし As I said before I don't care I have no intention of losing to such a muscle muscle sorry muscle such a mu、um, someone who's only Good for his muscles. So, Eto Haruna Sawa? Tashka Mani, Dotch de Mo Kamavana, it did the Kedo. Then, uh, what about you, Haruna? I believe you said before they didn't carry your way. I. Moshkaste, Shuchan Tachiwa Hantai Nun. Are you guys against it? Starting with Yui, everyone gave them suspicious looks. It was apparent to everyone there that they were acting different from the way they had up until yesterday. Sorry. It's a bad habit of mine to worry too much. I'm all for letting Kurokawa go as well. You're okay with that too, aren't you, Yuna? Haruna? Yeah. Well, if you say so, Shuhei. After Shuhei said that, the two of them nodded bewilderedly. And when everyone went to free Kurokawa, Yuna and Haruna quietly approached Shuhei. Hey Shuhei, don't you think it's too dangerous to let Kurokawa go right now? Yes, I agree. Yeah, I, I know. But if we, but if we were, but if we showed opposition, then it would have seemed unnatural. It might, it would seem very likely that something was up. Well, yeah, that's true, but. I'm planning on proposing we we lock up Kurokawa again after some time has passed. So let's keep him in check until then, Yuna. All right, got it. Before long, they arrive in front of a abandoned house, and Ray went inside.、And、then, before long, she brought along Kurokawa, his ropes untied. Go on, get moving. Ow! Fucking hell, don't kick people, kick people for no reason, you brat. Huh? Kurokawa gave the whole group a glance. What 
the hell are you all being quiet for? What's gone into you guys? Seriously. Um, Kurokawa? Yeah? I think Yui might have told you a little bit about this already, but we're about to reap wheat. And we need as, many and we need as much help as possible, so... <laughs> What's all this shit about reaping wheat? Ain't we supposed to be killing and stealing from each other? What <laughs> you want, Majima? You wanna go? And bring it on. Looks like your wounds sh looks like your wounds close up. But I don't think you're gonna beat me with that let Krokawa, please. I'm begging you. Help us out. Majima said then bowed. Krokawa's eyes widened with surprise. Whoa! What? What kind of joke is this? Have you become a pacifist or some dumb shit like that, Majima? But Majima didn't raise his head even after Krokawa egged him on. Fucking hell. This ain't feel right. This don't feel right. Um, Kurokawa? Shut up, dumbass. Don't you go talking to me, you slowpoke. Kurokawa! You shouldn't yell at Yui like that! She's right. Yui's been worried about you all this. Huh? The hell? <laughs> Hansen and Mitsu quickly backed off after after Kurokawa barked at them. Looks like I might have to propose that we tie him up again sooner than I thought. Shuhei thought that, but Kurokawa um, held himself back and spoke. Fine, whatever. Whatever the case, let me get some grub first. Hey Majima, feed me something. Give me something. All right, we save some from you. For you, come with me. <laughs> Seriously, what the hell happened to you? Did you eat the good kind of mushrooms and went crazy or something? Don't get full of yourself. I said don't kick me! Accompanied by Rei and Majima, Kurokawa grumbled as they head as they head for the plaza. It seemed like Kurokawa had no intention of raising hell for the time being. Alright Shuhei, I'll be going along as well. Thanks. Counting on you. Yuna and had and, and followed after Kurokawa and the others.
The rest of the group is about to move as well, but then... I heard the voice of a guy they'd completely forgotten about. Wait, guys, what about me? I'll help you reap the wheat! Oh, right. I forgot he was here. What should we do, Fujita? Hmm. Honestly, Shuhei didn't want letting more seeds of trouble out of the open. But now that they released Kurokawa, it felt unfair to leave Kur to leave um Daisuke alone locked up. Shu, let's let Daisuke out. All right, got it. Haruna, can you do it? All right. Haruna nodded and quickly went to untie Daisuke. With this, you never need to keep a constant eye on Kurokawa, while Haruna would need to do the same for Daisuke. Which means I'll have to find a way to escape all on my own, huh? No, so sorry, that word that weird. Which means I'll have to wait, find a way for all of us to escape on by myself, huh? Oops, I skipped that last. Shuhei would have to come up with a reason why he wouldn't be participating in reaping the wheat with the others. And so after all that, they released Dice King and went and all head for the wheat field. During that time, Yuna explained to Kurokawa and Daisuke all the players' clear conditions, special functions, and how they'd gotten rid of all the weapons. She said in order to make um, Kurokawa and Daisuke believe that there would be no need to hurt others in order to fulfill their clear conditions. Of course, by this point there was nothing more than playing with words, but for the time being the two of them seemed to accept the explanation. <sighs> Harmna Hosani watched as the other 12 players, with the exception of Shuhei, all were reaping the wheat. They were all speaking up. <laughs> Guys, I'll dry out the the bundles of wheat we've gained. We've got so leave them over here. <laughs> yeah, the chances of thinking everyone will live sure have uh, changed considerably super fast, huh? Okay. I understand. I got it too. <laughs> Let's do our best, Hitomi. Kurokawa, get to work. Hey, Mitsuru, do something about this bitch, will ya? Why me? Ray, that's basically the same thing as slacking. 
ほらユイくよくよしないの Come on, Yui, stop sighing. Mariko, ここいい Mariko, does this work? Yeah, put them here and I like, I like you to put them here and spread them like this. Alright, got it. Well, if they don't cut it down, they'll survive. They won't survive, so. Oh well. <clears throat> Arna watched all this in silence. Though they've been, though they were supposed to reap all the wheat, they got rid of all the blades, so they had to grab them with their bare hands. The wheat with their bare, the wheat stalks with their bare hands. Krokot was doing as he was told for now, but she, but they had no idea what he was thinking deep down. But she could just leave him to Yuna. Though Yuna was being considerate of Yui, she would occasionally shoot Kurokawa sharp glares every now and then. The reason why Shuhei wasn't there was because he was looking around the field to find a way for them to escape, but... However, the official reason he gave everyone else was that, um... He was searching the field to make sure they hadn't missed any cubes. It was a weak excuse, but since Shuhei was so well trusted, um, it didn't seem there was anyone who harbored all that many suspicions about it. And so Harun um, quietly analyzed his current situation. It was then that Harun saw the, um, Yeah, that would be a pretty nice effect. It was then that Haruna noticed her, um, her observation tar- her surveillance target hanging for the woods by himself away from everyone else's- while everyone else wasn't looking. I won't let you pull any stunts on your own. Haruna said that, concealed her presence, and quickly f immediately followed after Daisuke. Man, this is the pits. I've been tired for three days straight and they expect me to be able to do la manual labor like that? Daisuke walked through the woods, he grumbled to himself. Karna then walked up to him from and called out to him from behind. What do you think you're doing here? Whoa, you scared me! Don't surprise me like that! I'm... I'm really weak to that kind of stuff right now. So, uh... What's your name, girly? Haruna Hosotani. Our last names are di different due to certain circumstances, but I'm Shuhei's sister. You shouldn't me? Shuhei had this cute sister lying around? That doesn't matter. More importantly, why did you sneak away? Huh? You didn't hear me? I'm just playing hooky, that's all. Nothing else. Just don't glare at me like that. Don't glare at me like that. Come on. I can't help it. 
I I can't trust you. Wow, so you got to you are that a key to each other. Ow, that hurts, you know. For a demo, she better tell you I didn't have to stand there. Hot any more, you know, are you got to stand up? I may not look like it, but I did a lot of thinking while I was tied up, you know. Feel real bad about what I did to Hot Snake and Yui, you know. Or at this, ah, see, see, so about only in a salary man there. You see, I just, you know, I just kind of got um, lost in the mood of things, you know. Um, and I attacked Kuro Colony. I was just because I was fired up because of that. You see, that's all. You were just fired up. Harvin the glare as dice case. Smile. Intense anger well within her when she saw that face. I think there's something about you as a person that's broken. Eh? Mm, you think so? I'd say Crow Call is the more fucked up one here, wouldn't you think? Say? I don't know much about him, but you seem broken to me. I'm hurt. Well, I don't even, even I don't really know myself. Nice game may have said that, but from this small conversation alone, Arna felt like she got a glimpse. She um, grasped Daisuke's essence. Sorry, um, he was indeed broken when it came to his sense of ethics and his imagination. That's why he could hurt others with a straight face and ignore it like it was nothing. What's more, he didn't think about his future, nor did he reflect on the past. He simply lived for the moment, nothing more, nothing less. However, he couldn't. He couldn't. Um, he couldn't unleash that. Um, that violence on full display, and he possessed a certain sense of sociability. So he masked his. Um, so he masked his irregularities with that. Harna felt chills down his spine when she realized that. Of course, part of it was the disgust she felt about Daisuke. What she was really, what really sent shivers up her spine was. Was that beca was because she realized that she herself. That her own sense of ethics were, was sense of ethics was breaking as a result of participating in so many games. Hate what you are, I suppose. Huh? Huh? You say something? Nothing. It has nothing to do with you. Really? Well, whatever. By the way, uh, Haruna, was it? Well, we're out here. Why don't we go somewhere together? Huh? 
Why would I play hooky with you? Yeah, game is over. Made it hard. Shin Shinbok will break it up. I thought. Well, we got nothing to do until the game ends, so I think we're gonna get get know each other better, right? Shinbok. Get to know each other better. Don't tell me you plan on taking me somewhere too and assaulting me. Oh, so you don't want to be a dick. Oh, so you don't want to be a dick. Oh, so you don't want to be a dick. Oh, so you don't want to be a dick. Oh, so you don't want to be a dick. Oh, so you don't want to be a dick. Oh, so you don't want to be a dick. Oh, so you don't want to be a dick. Oh, so you don't want to be a dick. Oh, so you don't want to be a dick. But you know, if we hit it off, I don't think that'd be such a bad do be a bad idea to do that sort of thing, you know? <laughs> Harness patience snapped at his um callous words. Disgusted her to have someone um as ugly repulsive as him saying that to her. You share an odd sense of humor. I know, doesn't it sound fun? I hate to break it to you though. Well, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna have to. Sorry. Um. I'm not going. I'm not playing along. Harness said. Rice Harness said that she lunged at Daisuke. <laughs> she didn't bend her fingers into a as into a claw and thrust them right at Daisuke, right in front of Daisuke's eyes. What are you doing? Daisuke hastily jumped back, and Harun spoke to him in a cold voice. You don't get it? This is a warning. If I felt like it. I could blind you without batting an eye. After all, I'm probably the most experienced of taking lives out of the 14 players of this game. You didn't get it through your skull after, after Yuna beat after Yuna beat the crap out of you. Don't underestimate woman. Anyway, as long as I'm keeping an eye on you, I won't let you go off on your own. Ah, uh, Yeah. Okay. I understand. Daisuke gave a stiff smile. It seemed Harness' threat was successful. After she confirmed that, she spoke. It's just so long as you understand. By the way, there's something I want to ask you. What's that? From I heard from Shuhei, um, when you met up with everyone three days ago, you showed up. The way you showed up, your time was just way too perfect when you showed up. 
初対面だったはずなのにレイのことを知っているかのようなそぶりを見せた And though it should have been your first time meeting, you, you talked, so, um, you treated Ray like you already knew her. Why is that exactly? Well,、uh, that's just because I happened to get, catch a glimpse of Ray, that's all. Liar. My PDA special function shows a list of all player encounters. And from what I could see there, we never approached Ray even once. So, hey. Why don't you give me an honest answer for once? If you, pull, if you try telling another crappy lie. Um, for every. Uh, sorry, for every crappy lie you tell me from now on, I'll break your fingers. I'll break one of your fingers. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you. I found the monitoring. A monitor room. Huh? There's a room full of monitors underneath the、um, central control facility where you can check all the surveillance camera footage in the, all areas. And that's not all, it's not just the security cameras. We also get everything from the CCD、um, from the CCD cameras and listening devices embedded in everyone's collars. From the second day onwards,、um, yes, I. Maybe certain morals are okay to be corrupted in this case. Anyway, sorry. From the second day onwards, I acted while keeping an eye on everyone's actions from there. A monitor room. This was the first time Harun had ever heard of that. This wasn't her first time participating. In the game at this place, she hadn't known about the existence of that facility. So there was a room like that. By the way, how did you find it? I saw this、um, small light flickering at the floor. I don't think I saw anything when I passed by on the first day. I figure it was probably some kind of bonus they did for people who came back to the building for a second time. The light went out pretty quickly, too. I see. There probably weren't all that many players who would return to the starting point. And hard to thought of it like that, Daisuke's,、um, Daisuke's theory about the monitor room being like a bonus seemed plausible. Which meant that it was.、Um, In effect, the managers intentionally left in for, to,、um, to make the game more exciting. I mean, there, was even, there was even a possibility to control the light. Well, whatever. Anyway, get back to the others. Otherwise, I really will. 
Harna bent her fingers into a claw again. I get it, I get it. Daisuke's face went pale. And he muttered as they walked as they head back for the wheat fields. Oh brother. What a scary girl. That was the second time she'd been called scary. Harna walked with Daisuke. She felt um even more unpleasant by that re revelation. Then Harna and Daisuke return to reaping the wheat. Time passed and the sun set. Before long, Shuhei came back from searching for a way to escape, but... He didn't have anything good to say. Arna and Yuna spoke to Shuhei in secret in the corner of the village. Sorry. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't find anything. I didn't find any clues about a way out of here. I see. Oh well, nothing to do about it. There's no way to be able to find that easy. Yuna said that and smiled at Shuhei to cheer him up. Shuhei gave a faint smile of his own to reciprocate. Well, all we can do is stick to our guns. But I'll find... We need to find a clue as soon as possible. Alright, and take care of things tomorrow as well. Got it. I'll be keeping a close eye on Daisuke as well. After that discussion, the three of them went off to their own houses. They need to make a breakthrough before the others realize the gravity of the current situation. They all felt the, the, own, the weight of that responsibility. Day 7. Okay, we're gonna leave off from here today. So, um, yeah, very uncertain situation to say the least. It uh, seems like game won't is, and the game isn't going to end conventionally, and the administrators clearly have no intention of letting it end in the first stage. So it's a race against time now, I guess. If they can find a way out before things get worse, before they start running out of food too, we'll just have to see where that goes next time. But until then, I'll see you all later.